Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. Today we shall discuss a new exercise, exercise 7.3. Exercise 7.3 deals with area of a triangle concept. So firstly, I just want to tell you the formula of area of triangle and I will tell you the easy method of how to remember the formula of area of triangle. So if this is a triangle and if the coordinates are given to you, x1, y1, b, x2, y2, c, x3, y3. Okay, we know area of any triangle you will you can find with this formula half base into height. This is what we have learned in our earlier classes. But when when the triangle base and height are not given to you, when the three coordinates are given to you, the vertices of the triangle are given to you, then how can we find the area of triangle? That is a concept. Okay, so it is nothing but see whatever half you have, you will write that half here. You will write a modulus. Now why is this modulus already in distance concept? I explain you what is the meaning of modulus. If you have not watched it, please do watch. Okay. XI 7.1 related concept. So modulus is always a positive value. Okay. Whatever value you have in modulus, it will be a positive output once you take out of modulus also. Right. So a negative value or a positive value taken out of modulus will be a positive value. Okay. So if something is it, if you have minus X, in the modulus so it will definitely be a positive value once it is taken out okay so modulus of anything is always positive that's the meaning so now half see this whatever half you have you'll write it you'll write a modulus instead of base into height you will write you have to use x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 okay so i'll write x1 plus x2 plus x3 and I'll close this modulus. Now inside this x1, x2, x3, I should write something. So what I will write is I'll use y coordinates. See, I have used x coordinates, all the x coordinates I have used. Now I should use y coordinates. So y1, y2, y3 are actually in cyclic order. Okay. Y1, y2, y3 are actually in cyclic order. So when you're taking x1 here, you will take y2 minus y3. If you are taking x1, here you will write y2 minus y3. Okay, here inside the brackets it is negative. Okay, it's a difference, subtraction. Always the x coordinates are plus, you are adding them. So x1 into something plus x2 into something plus x3 into something. Now what is that something? So if you are taking x1 here, it is y2 minus y3. Now here you have x2. So leaving this y2, it is y3 minus y1. Here you have x3. So now leave this y3. What is remaining? y1 minus y2. This is the easiest method to remember the formula. Understood? So half modulus of x1 into x2 into plus x3 into. Now you have x1. So you will take y2 minus y3. You have x2 now. So you will take y1 minus y3. Okay, you have x2. So, you will remove y2 and you will take y3 minus y1 here. See, I am so sorry. And now you have x3. So, you will remove y3 and you will take y1 minus y2. This is very clear. Okay. So, now based on this particular formula, let's, let's find the area of the triangle. Okay. The first question is find area of triangle and the coordinates given to r 2, 3, minus 1 0 and 2 minus 4 okay so we know area of triangle is nothing but half x1 into something plus x2 into something plus x3 into something so y1 y2 y3 so x1 so you'll remove y1 and you'll write y2 minus y3 this is y2 minus y3 you have x2 now so remove y2 and write y3 minus y1 okay let me write it little neatly you have x2 so now you will write y3 minus y1 now you have x3 here so remove y3 so what is remaining y1 minus y2 here so let me take this as x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 okay so area of triangle is nothing but half modulus of x1 is 2 into y2 minus y3 so y3 is minus 4 so minus of minus 4 plus x2 is minus 1 into y3 minus y1 y3 is minus 4 and y1 is minus 3 plus x3 into 
y1 minus y2 y1 is 3 minus y2 is 0 that is equals to half into 2 into 0 minus of minus 4 is plus 4 plus into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 3 minus 7 2 negative so you will add and write negative sign plus 2 into 3 minus 0 is 3 so it is half into 2 into 0 plus 4 is 4 so 2 4 is 8 minus 1 into minus 7 is plus 7 and this is 6 so how much do you have half into 8 plus 7 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 okay so this is nothing but 21 by 2 inside the modulus you have a positive value only so it is 21 by 2 21 by 2 or you can write it as 10.5 or 10 and a half square units always since it is area you will write it as square units in distance we used to write it as 10 units 11 units here it is area so we will write square units very clear right next question before moving on to the next question let me tell you an academy is back with an academy mock test emerge which is completely free okay and it is the mega mock test which is which we are going to have this week because it is the final mock test okay so it is applicable for class 10 and 12 and is bigger and better how so you can win exciting prizes and scholarships worth 50 lakhs firstly the test is free so it is aligned with your guidelines syllabus and once you give the test you will know which model questions to expect in your board exams in your competitive level exams like you can see your iit exams triple it exams iit exams and also policy entrance exams so all these entrance examinations have mcq based questions so once you attend this you will you will get to know what are the model questions which you can get from that particular chapter and you will get all india ranking because this mock test all india level students keep appearing for this mock test so you'll get all india level ranking by which you can analyze your preparation and you can prepare accordingly okay and the most important thing is it is free and also if if few questions if you're not able to answer off or if any question if it is wrong then if if, if you got it as wrong then you can see the video solution of the educator top educator will be explaining you that particular question and it is also completely free so you can learn a lot of things from this free test so do attend the free test the link to enroll for the free test i'll give you in the description and the code is nothing but dmm okay the code to enroll is dmm right so class 10 and 12 can give the test test dates are 27 november to 30th november so 50 lakh worth prizes and scholarships you can win and you can see all these prizes which you can win here bicycle headphones apple uh, ipad iphone and so on okay so gopro right so here are the timings class 10 you'll have science and max on 27th november and 28th november this is the final test so give the test okay this is the last last test we are conducting and class 12 students for commerce this is the timetable for science this is the timetable so do share with all your class 10 friends and class 12 friends also test dates test emerges from 27th to 30th and timing is 5 to 6 30 pm the link to enroll i'll give you in the description box and the code as i told you is dmm okay dmm is the code right and also it's the final mock test so don't forget to attend because you have exciting prizes also and it is very useful for all your examinations and also if you want to win an academy subscription for free 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 so we have winners week so last week we have we had children's week where a lot of students gained subscriptions and there are many students who wanted subscriptions in the last day so we thought of extending the offer so that many other students can benefit so here it is all the students whoever has 10 doubts it is again free asking 10 doubts is also free and once you ask 10 doubts you will get an academy subscription for free okay so do you use this feature it is valid till 28th november so how can you ask the doubt see download an academy app so here you will find ask a doubt option click on that okay this is the page which opens take the picture of your textbook okay upload it crop the exact question wherever in which question you have doubt crop it and upload that question you'll get a video solution okay explaining your uh, solution so what you have to do is you have to listen to the solution understand the solution so in this way you'll have to ask 10 doubts once you ask your 10 doubts receive 10 video solutions watch the solution you will get free subscription okay so you will learn 10 questions in a way 
okay you will clear all your doubts and also you will win subscription and in subscription what is the benefit of subscription you will have laser hand feature in your uh, premium classes that is the subscription classes plus classes where you can talk to us in the class okay and you will have best quality classes you will you will have top educators teaching you you will have unlimited classes so maximum you can optimize this uh, opportunity because it is completely free okay so i i suggest you to definitely use this as 10 dots get a free subscription it is really helpful for all your competitive level exams also and even for your ntsc if you are preparing right so classes 6 to 12 can use this feature do share it with everyone 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 and the link to uh, link for this feature i'll give you in the description box and the code is dmm okay uh, using this code dmm you can use the free feature and as i told you once you get the plus subscription for free you can join my plus classes where you have laser hand feature and all and also you can join my special classes by following me on an academy right these are free classes and the code to join my free classes is dmm right so all these are free features which i want you all to completely utilize right so do enroll and the code is dmm so let's proceed to the next question now the next coordinates given are minus 5 minus 1 i'm taking it as x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 so what is the formula we know area of triangle is half x1 into something plus x3 into something so x let me write y1 y2 y3 so i'm taking x1 so it is y2 minus y3 if you are taking x2, it is y3 minus y1. If you are taking x3, it is y1 minus y2. Okay, so that is half. x1 is minus 5. y2 minus y3. y2 is minus 5. y3 is plus minus 2. Okay, it is minus 2. Plus x2. x2 is how much? x2 is 3. And y3 is 2 minus y1 is minus 1 plus x3 is 5 y1 is minus 1 minus y2 is minus 5 so that is equals to half minus 5 into minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 plus 5 into minus 1 plus 5 that is equals to half into minus 5 into minus 7 plus 3 into 3 plus 5 into 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is half into minus 5 minus 7 is 35 plus 9 plus 20. So what is the final answer we have that is equal to half into 35 plus 9 plus 20. So 35 plus 25 is 55, 55 plus 9 is 64. So I can write this as 32. So what is 32? 32 square units. Don't forget to write this. 32 square units clear so i hope now the formula is also very easy to remember isn't it so again let us write one more time area is equal to now do along with myself okay so x1 into plus x2 into plus x3 into once you do this now there is zero percent error you make zero percent mistake you make okay so y1 y2 y3 because many of you get confused is it y1 minus y2 or y2 minus y1 so do this there is no confusion right so y1 since you are taking x1 here, you will take y1. So, y2 minus y3 you will write here. Now, you are taking x2. So, y3 minus y1 we will write here. And now, you are taking x3. So, y1 minus y2. That's it. Very easy, isn't it? So, area of triangle is equals to half into. We are considering this as x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Let us substitute here. So, it is x1 into y2 minus y3 y2 is 0 and y3 is 2 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 y1 is 0 and y2 is 2 here you can see 0 into anything is 0 0 into anything is 0 x1 is 0 x2 is 0 so only term you have is 0 into anything is 0 plus 3 into 2 you have and 0 into anything is 0 so this is the only term so half into how much is this 6 or you can write it has 3. So, 3 square units. 
clear so i hope the explanation is very clear and helpful for you so i just wanted to give you an idea of the area of triangle and the next question question number two it's a different concept so i'll explain you in the different in the next class okay so don't forget to enroll to an academy emerge and uh, ask it out which are completely free right so i'll see you all there the code and link to enroll is in the description box right so bye bye take care i'll see you in the next class